welcome back to the Undertale Let's Play. Sorry about the mouse. I am very professional here. Yes, I am. Yeah, so we're back with Undertale. We're in the room that I kind of got myself killed in last time because Vegetoid killed me. So that's it. And I'm cute. Oh, not Vegetoid. Yeah, this was kind of being. It was tricky for me to. Well. I want to say be but spare last time, because every time I tried to be nice to him and talk, he would just jump and kill me. Let's try this one. Nope. Go back to start. Okay, so not that one. This one. I think that, yeah, that was it. And attacked by monsters. I'm not gonna pick on you. Because it says not to pick on you. And then you leave me alone. Oh, it was beyond here. Hey, right, frog it. Rip it. Rip it. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying in some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Oh, that was kind of nice. Cityscaping, what's this thing? You found the, to the toy? You found the toy knife. Okay, I found the toy knife. You equip toy knife. in case someone wants to be a bit too fresh with me. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this, er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Yeah, I still get voices. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination! Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I, I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on, the, on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. No, oh, well. Is something burning? Uh, well, get yourself at home. <laughs> Someone who has fire magic. You don't really cook too good. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh, the best of someone's been here. A box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. I'm gonna play with this light switch. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> that was funny. No, I can't check that out. Can't check that out. What's this? Another room. It's Toriel's diary. Read circle passage. Might as well. You read the passage. Why did that skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bony. <laughs> That's the rest of the rest of the page. Still, jokes of similar, of similar caliber. The enemy of comedy puns. Don't be bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of wetlands following plants with brown oblong seed pods. More commonly known as water sausages. <laughs> Peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most soon array of plants. <laughs> this regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> Again, the comedy to me timing this game is really hilarious. What's this room? Room under renovations. Oh, I can't go in it. Boo. Inside the drawer, you are inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. 
to that combination. Hey, I'm here. It's you. Great little house. Is this over here? These books were worn. They must have been read many times. We have nothing better to do than read. You read. Inside an old count. Inside is no calendar. From the beginning of 2000. <laughs> Again, a 2000 X joke is still funny. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Huh? Baby proofing. This is a history book. Here, here is a random page. Trapped behind a barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as, great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a moment, Toriel. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Of course, she's furry. For some reason, there's a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. How'd that happen? Inside the cupboard are cookie, cookie, cut, are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pan intimidates you too much for you to get. The stove top is very clean. Toro must be, have use must have must use fire magic instead. I think you assume it's fire magic. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come to this may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't the most very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How do I get out of these ruins? Uh, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. How do I get out of here? I have to do something. Stay here. Yeah, we can run fast, woman. There you go. Ah, oh, damn, I bumped the mic. Sorry about that. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. Wait, what? No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, no, get back here! Why are you so fast? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No, Toriel, get back here! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Toriel, please, listen, we can talk about this! You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Tutorial. Attack 8. Defense 80. Knows best for you. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. Stop. Stop it. Ah, stop with the fire magic. You can't, you can't think of any conversation topics. Yeah. You had to think of something to say again, but. Yeah, did I make you mad? I'm sorry! Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this, to this situation. Yeah, please stop that. I don't want to kill you! Hey, don't, don't you look away from me! I don't care how many times I have to spare you, I don't want to kill you! Come on, woman, listen to me! 
Listen to me! What are you doing? Try not to be an asshole! Trail is acting aloof. Attack or run away? Well, I can't run because you'll need to throw the door, but I don't want to attack you because you're too damn nice. What are you, what are you proving this for? This way. I will spare you as many times as it takes so I don't have to kill you. Fight me or leave. I'm not gonna... I might have the toy knife, but I don't want to use it on you. That's just... Stop it. You're not even taking this battle seriously. See, look, your attacks aren't even hurting me. Try to look through you. Stop looking at me that way. No. Wait, how am I looking at you? Is it creepy? Your pup here is a magical attack. Go away! Listen, I'm trying to go away! Do that door behind you! Try to look through you. Okay, now you're not talking anymore? Okay. I don't want to have to kill you! Dude, you're too damn nice. I know you want to go home, but... Please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I'm pretty sure you would, but I have to go home eventually, and this place will get boring pretty quickly. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. <laughs> no, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. Exactly! Expectations of loneliness. My expectations of my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, if you will not, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. <laughs> Got a hug. <laughs> Goodbye, my child. Like, it would be cruel to go back and talk to her after that, so I might as well just go on ahead. Very emotional right there. And she's too nice to just kill. It's sad to try and kill her. I think this was this is the hallway from the promo trailer or the Steam Greenlight trailer, but there's black on the sides. Cause in the trailer it had like images of the game on the sides of this hallway. It just has to be the hallway. This prick. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart? You don't, you? In this world, it's kill or be killed! So you're able to play by your own rules? You spare the life of a single person? <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But you will. Do if you want. But you will. Do if you meet a, what we but what we do if you meet a ruthless killer. You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. Well, you can inherit my power. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Can I get some weed killer for you or something? Prick. Undertale. By Toby Fox. All credit goes to this guy. Everybody give him applause. They can mean it. Applaud Toby Fox! This is what the outside of the rooms looks like. Huh. There's a camera hidden in these bushes. 
Wait, what? Why is there a camera here? Is someone trying to get a sexy picture tutorial? You can just go on the internet for that. Seriously, why is there a camera there? Is it tutorial's security system? These are some really long trees. Wait, wait. Anyone else hear that? And that wasn't me stepping on a tree branch. Okay, I know there are monsters out here because there are monsters freaking everywhere. That hey, what was that? Gotta be on my toes. Something's behind me. Better not get behind me again. Why I stop? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no. Move! Move! Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Please don't punch me. Well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now. But, you know... I don't really care about capturing anybody. Uh, my brother Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick. Behind that conveniently shaped lamp. This is a very conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? No, you know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You're just hanging around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the World Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses of uh, I'll bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bums. All you do is boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. That was painful. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. And I, I am and I hate it. Sigh. I just someone as good as me have to do so much do so much as get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Make it stop! The puns they hurt! <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah. <laughs> It was also a pun. <laughs> oh, the puns. They hurt. Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Oh, there got no. I can't take any more puns. It's some sort of checkpoint. Our security station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and arella sitting inside. I was like, actually, hey. Hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he is not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Uh, I think I'll put it into this one. I know it's a bit earlier than the last one, but you said we got out of the ruins and we met Sans Papyrus. I, I think that's enough for one episode. Now, next time, we'll continue down this long path that I hope isn't filled with more puns. Because I hate puns. The, the convenience of this lamp still fills you with determination. 
So till next time, folks, see you then.